Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we're going to be adding a firewall to our Kali Purple Lab. Last time we set up Elastic Sim inside of Kali Purple and we did the installation and we had data coming here. As you can see on my screen right now, these are new data points that we need to add here. And these logs are coming from our firewall. In this case, it's OpenSense. By the time you're done, you should be able to see all the firewall events and even know like what is happening on our firewall. Before we get started, we need to understand the architecture that they designed for us for Kali Purple. If you come here in the documentation, they gave us this diagram here. It took me a while to understand what they were trying to do. But if I open it in a new tab, you'll notice that we have Kali Purple down here uh, with Elastic Sim, which is what we did. But we need this device here. I don't know how to pronounce this, Byzania Zantiam, uh, which will run our firewall. Then we also put Suricara and maybe Suricara Ideas and Squid Proxy. So we'll be setting up this box here today. And last time we set up Kali Pepper with Elastic Sim. And then we'll forward all those logs to our Kali Pepper. And they'll look like this to tell us all the information about traffic that's coming in and out of that firewall. We're setting everything in VirtualBox. So the first thing that we need to do is go to OpenSense and download the ISO file right here. So opensense.org slash download and download. We also have the actual instructions here. Okay, so for installation, we go to the wiki for installation guides. So click on the wiki. Right here, we are at the protect, 200 protect. Let me move myself out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. So we click on 200 protect installation these are the instructions that we'll be following to install our OpenSense. They are installing theirs in Proxmox. We are doing it in VirtualBox so that a lot of people can have access, but it's pretty much the same things except in VirtualBox, including these screenshots here. So if you don't want to f watch the video, which I will speed up, all the screenshots are provided here with everything that we'll be doing even more. And once you download the ISO, go ahead and unzip it. So in your downloads, you are going to see OpenSense like that. Right click. I have 7-zip, extract files. And once I extracted it, I ended up with this one here. And then after that, VirtualBox, machine, new. I will name mine OpenSense Firewall, FW. And for the operating system, it's going to be BSD, free BSD 64-bit. Next. Uh, for RAM, I'm going to give it maybe four gigs of RAM, create virtual disk, VDI, just or the default. My disk, I would like to give it 40 gigs, then create. Then we need to make some changes here. Go to settings. So to get to settings, now that I'm out of the way, right click, settings. We need to add two network cards uh, with two different networks. So first uh, on system, Four gigs, that's okay. Uh, okay, let's not change anything. For the processor, let's give it two. Uh, display, I like to bump this just in case. Then for storage, click on the empty disk, live disk, point to open sense. You can say choose disk, browse to your downloads folder, choose open sense, open. For network, we need to make a change here. Leave this one to NAT if you want. This is going to be our WAN interface. And I, will, I like to keep track of the MAC addresses here. So I have 5E, EE5E. So I'll know that that's my uh, WAN. This is going to be my LAN, local area network. I like it to be internal network. It says intranet, that's fine. I'll just leave it the same way and say, okay. So now I have two. Let's go ahead and power it on. All right, it's powering on. All right, so for the interfaces, it says press any key to start manual interface assignment. Let's just accept the defaults for now. If all goes well, our um, WAN interface should get a DHCP IP address. In fact, let's go check it out right now. So settings, network. Oh, I, no, I want this one to be bridged so that you can get a DHCP. So say, okay. 
So I put it to bridged instead of net. That way, I, I guarantee that I have um, an IP address. We can change that one to net later. Okay, here it's asking us to install, uh, to sign in as root, just to do live mode or install. We we'll sign in as installer, and password is OpenSense. Put all our keys. Okay, so here it's saying uh, what do you want to do? We just continue with the defaults, install. We're not changing anything here. Uh, choose this disk here with 40 gigs. Yes, yes, I like to destroy everything. So while the installation is happening, let's let's diagram this quick. Let's put our home internet here. So the connection is from your home internet via VirtualBox. We're going to OpenSense. Then from OpenSense, we're going to these two machines here. This is going to be my addressing scheme because it's going to be slightly different from the one on the docs for Kali. I'm going to go with 172.16.0.1 for my firewall. I like that network better. Then Kali Purple is 15, like we set it up last time. 0 0.15. This normal Kali is going to be 10. And the Windows client is unknown. So this is a Windows 10 client. Okay, so that's a simple network diagram. Kali Pepo is running Elastic Sim. This Kali here is just for attack. So this Kali here is just for attacks, and I use this one for hack the box attacks. So we can monitor it as well here. And this is for testing some malware that we'll be creating. So that's our network diagram here. This is your home internet coming through Kali Pepo and Kali Paper is going to be offering DHCP down here. So let's give it all the services that it's providing. DNS, DHCP, Squid Proxy, and it's also going to be running Suricata IDS. So with these services here, that's, we can monitor all these and forward the, the data to our Kali Paper, which is nice. So that's our network diagram here with just your home uh, open sense which we are installing right now and when we're done we'll forward all the logs to elastic sim so we can see everything that's leaving our firewall going to and from the internet right so he's saying uh, root password change root password All right we'll just wait until this is done complete install and reboot We still have to set up our networking diagram though, because as you can see here, I said my network, for this to be my default gateway, I need it to be 172.16.0.1. And this, Kali is going to use this as its default gateway. That way we can see the traffic. All right, it's booting up. One more thing to do is go to your Kali Pepo, right click and go to settings. When you go to network, um, this one here that says NAT, the first interface, you want to change that to internal network, the one that we just created. And the name was intranet, and say OK. If you don't make sure that Kali Paper is connected to that internal network, things will not work for you. Because these need to communicate on the same network, that the networks need to work. A lot of people who have problems with this is because they fail to understand that concept of if things are not on the same network, they will not talk to each other and you'll be scratching your head wondering what's happening. Okay, so a couple of things. After OpenSense boots up, we see that we already have a problem here. Um, our WAN did not get our WAN did not get a DHCP from our home as we expected because we got all zeros here. So what this shows me is that I got these interfaces mixed up, which is not a problem. Let's sign in as root. Okay, so when you sign in, I would like to say assign interfaces. I want to flip this. EM1 is going to be my LAN. EM0 is going to be my WAN. So let's like say assign interfaces with one. Do you want to configure lag like now? No. No, no VLANs. Enter the WAN interface. A for auto detect. I said EM0. That's my WAN. Enter the LAN interface or A. 
em1 that's my LAN interface let's see if we get a dhcp from my home um let's just hit enter okay yes i would like to proceed so i'm just fixing my networking if your networking does not work nothing will work so it's very important that we pay a little bit more attention to our networking here all right so as you can see now my WAN is a 192.168.38.125, which is coming from my other lab. So my WAN got a DHCP IP address. You want to make sure that you note that IP address. Then uh, my LAN also got a random IP. So we need to change the LAN IP address. Set interface IP address, which is number two. Enter the number of interface. I would like it to be one for my LAN. I don't want it to be via DHCP. Enter the new LAN IPv4 address. It's 172.16.0.1. That's the network I want. Enter the LAN IP4 subnet. I'll put 24. Make it simple. For WAN, we don't want anything on the WAN. Configure IPv6 LAN interface via WAN tracking. Sure. Do you want to enable DHCP server on LAN? Yes. Enter the uh, start range. I'll just say 172.16.0.20. To 172.16.0.254. Do you want to change web UI HTTPS to HTTP? Sure. It's a lab. We store web UI to default. Um, it's already at the default. All right. So now I can access the web UI by going to HTTP. 172.16.01. That's what we need to do right now. And to do that, we need to go, go and sign into our Kali Purple. And once you're inside of Kali Purple, open your browser. This assumes that you change to make sure that the Kali Purple machine is on the same network. I'll show you one more time. If you don't do this, not, this will not work. So go to settings for Kali Purple. Go to network. Make sure that this net here is changed to internal intranet, which is the same as our OpenSense here. Settings, the second interface, network. The second interface, which is our LAN, internal intranet. These need to match between OpenSense and Kali. Otherwise, the next phase here will not work. So we just Open this and say HTTPS or HTTP 172.16.0.1. I believe it was HTTP. That's why this is not liking me. Now type root in the password in whatever password you put. Okay. So we are signed into our OpenSense. Already run both running from Kali. All right, so that's how we set up our OpenSense. Next, we need to send the firewall logs to our Elastic Sim that's running on Kali Purple. And to do that, join me in the next video that I just posted together with this one in the next video. And you can continue the setup and finish and end up with this dashboard. Otherwise, see you in the next video.